It's not often the community of Gasparillo in South Trinidad is exposed to an exciting showcase of science and technology. However, thanks to the Nihirst NGC National Science Center, science came alive at the Gasparillo Secondary School from Monday 28th April to Saturday 3rd May 2014. It's a very um, important exhibit and I think that the fact that students themselves are participating here and doing the demonstrations, it will cause them um, to think deeper about the role of science in their own lives and perhaps even um, stimulate them to um, higher careers in the field of science. Coming from a science background, we, I've always maintained that we need to get the teaching of science outside of the classroom. As a principal, if I were to walk into a science classroom regularly and see students being taught science in a class that is totally, totally quiet, I get a little bit concerned. There must, have that, you know, there must be that kind of interactivity and that kind of energy and excitement, not only about teaching science, but about learning science as well. This 18th Community Science Week drew scores of students and residents of the Victoria District in Trinidad. From day one, participants were treated to a variety of interactive exhibits, workshops, science shows, lectures and discussions. Some of the exciting topics covered included robotics, astronomy, electricity, road safety, food science, energy transformation, healthy lifestyles and the popular brain rush. Nihar's Community Science Weeks target rural communities where exposure to science and technology can be limited. We never had something like this before and for it to be exposed for students of various school to come and see this in our community, it's very, very good, very good. It's something great for them to see, encouraging children about science, it's fun. <laughs> Invigorating presentations and exhibitions by Nihir's partnering organizations also left a lasting impression on the community of Gasparillo. There was fun for everyone with a special kiddie play section for the younger ones and an inspiring career day which targeted students from forms 3 to 6. There were many budding scientists in the audience who aspired to follow in the footsteps of Gasparillo-born chemist Dolly Nicholas. Miss Nicholas, who attended the Gasparillo Government School, showed great passion for chemistry and became the first and only woman to receive a Trinidad and Tobago National Award for Scientific Invention. Gasparillo Science Week drew to a magical close that was certainly written in the stars. Many waited patiently in line to have a closer look at the solar system in the telescope viewing session. It was something totally different. We don't have a telescope at home. It's something that you cannot see unless you, you purchase the books, you'll see something like that. But to really experience it and look through the telescope and, and see something out there, that, that, that is, it was totally different. The Gasparillo community were thankful for the exciting week of science hosted by the Nihirst NGC National Science Centre and greatly appreciated the Ministry of Science and Technology's continued efforts towards building Trinidad and Tobago's national culture of science, technology and innovation. Okay, thank you Nihirst for bringing Science Week to Gasparillo Seconders. Yeah, thank you Nihirst. <laughs> Ah, do come again next year. <laughs> okay, thank you, Nihus. I'm bringing back next year, please. <laughs> it was good. It was really, it, but it's really, um, it's really educational for children. I will advise any parent to bring the ch children here. I, I want to thank Nihus. Um, it's very educational, and please come back again. I, it is really impressive. Thank you.